。二零一九年第七条系有关于生态系统嘅题目。今次呢個表呢，就顯示咗某一個山坡喺山泥傾瀉嘅前與後呢，佢哋嘅土壤嘅氮含量啦、草本同埋木本植物嘅物種數目嘅變化嘅。咁啊，山泥傾瀉之前啦、兩年之後啦，同埋二十年之後啦，嗱，約略數字呢，大家有個概念先。例如啦，土壤嘅氮含量呢，係先跌後升，草本植物呢，就係先升後跌，而木本植物呢，都係先跌後升嘅。咁而家啦 ，Part A 呢就問我哋啦，喺山泥傾瀉之後，山坡上面出現嘅邊一個類型嘅演替呢？咁同埋解釋我哋嘅答案啦。呢、這個題目啦都非常之直接㗎啦，就係、是、考返我哋呢有關於原生演替同埋次生演替嘅分別啦。咁其實你睇返成個故事呢。喺山泥傾瀉之前，已經係有一啲植物存在嘅啦，無論係草本亦或係木本嘅植物，所以答案咧就係次生嘅演替啦。兩段咧都話翻俾大家聽啦，原生演替同埋次生演替最基本嘅分別就係喺最當初有冇生物存在過。跟住去到 Part B 嘅第一部分啦，就要我哋解釋翻喺呢個表格入面啦嘅土壤氮含量嘅變化嘅。今次咧就想同大家讲一讲个答题嘅应假啦。呢一条题目咧，你有两部分要答嘅。第一部分你就要讲咗俾我听，喺呢个土壤嘅氮含量嘅变化先，然后再解释翻点解呢个土壤嘅氮含量会有个变化啦。例如啦，氮循环啦，生态嘅互动啦。咁呢度咧就系考翻大家对于生物嘅因素同埋非生物嘅因素嘅概念清唔清咯？做一击破咯。土壤嘅氮含量有咩嘅变化？见得到噶啦，先跌后升，由六落一，由一上三，所以答案咧都好直白噶啦。山泥倾泻之后咧，土壤嘅氮含量系低咗嘅，然之后咧土壤嘅氮含量系慢慢又上升翻嘅。都会问啦，喂梁 Sir 啊，需唔需要好似通识咁样咧写翻数字咧？咁当然有咧系最好嘅。咁就算你唔写翻数字。最基本你要噏得出幾時係跌咗，幾時係升咗啦，係咪？咁我哋表達咗啦，土壤入面嘅氮含量嘅變化啦，我哋咧就要解釋一下咯。一開始點解會跌呢？山泥傾瀉之後，原有嘅植批啦，或者頂層嘅土壤啦，就會流失咗，因為山泥傾瀉沖走曬啊嘛。咁所以啦，土壤入面嘅氮含量就會低咗啦。而喺山泥傾瀉兩年之後咧，草本植物嘅成長係非常之迅速嘅。而植物成長嘅時候咧，佢都會吸收翻泥土入面嘅氮啦，咁所以啦，土壤入面嘅氮含量咧都會低咗嘅。咁啊，先跌就後升啊嘛，講完跌啦，就講下升咯。又回憶一下我哋喺氮循環學過嘅嘢啦，部分嘅植物嘅物種咧嘅根瘤咧，可能有一啲寄生嘅固氮細菌，而呢啲固氮細菌就可以將空氣入面嘅氮氣咧，就轉化成土壤入面嘅氮啦。就令到土壤入面嘅氮含量咧就会上升翻。咁除此之外，仲有冇其他原因都解释得到喺个土壤入面嘅氮含量系增加咗咧？当然有啦，因为无论你系动物亦或系植物，你都会死嘅。而随住时日过去啦，新嘅植批啦，无论系草本定亦或系木本植物啦，佢哋都会死咗。然之后咧喺土壤入面嘅细菌就会将呢啲尸体去分解咗佢，亦都将呢啲含有氮嘅化合物就释放翻去到土壤入面。從而啦，亦都令到土壤入面嘅氮含量咧，以隨住時間而積聚嘅。所以你會發現呢條題目咧，係整個故事嚟嘅。啊，由山泥傾瀉之後，去到兩年，去到二十年，泥土入面嘅氮含量係會有一個咁嘅變化咧。咁過往咧，其實都有生態演替嘅題目嘅。咁啊，除咗 M C 啦 ，Long Question 都有嘅。咁大家睇翻啲片，學翻啲技巧咯。跟住到第二部分呢，題目就叫我哋參考一下土壤嘅氮含量嘅變化啦。有啦，就根據草本同埋木本植物嘅物種數目啦，去解釋一下山泥傾瀉之後植物組合嘅變化嘅。咁所以啦，我哋就要睇埋呢兩行嘅數字啦。咁成條題目呢，就考緊我哋啦，喺個生態演替嘅過程當中，有冇一啲？动态嘅互动呢，所以成个故事我哋就要提及返生物因素同埋非生物因素之间嘅互动啦。今次呢，都係想教大家点样去应付呢类型嘅题目嘅。呢次嘅题目都叫我哋解释个转变啊嘛，咁、那个转变你都要讲下㗎，係咪？先你就要讲下喺山泥倾泻之后植物组合嘅变化，然后再解释下呢个植物组合嘅变化。之所以出現係因為啲咩嘅原因呢？就頭先我所講噶，就係、是、生態嘅互動啦，植物嘅成長啦，所以你要講翻生物同埋非生物嘅因素啦。後嚟逐一擊破咯，一開波睇一睇草本植物先，先升後跌。
。木本植物呢，先跌后升，有个基础概念先。喺呢度呢，就想提返大家啦。喺成个演体当中，一隻生物嘅出现呢，其实佢係会改变咗个环境，而啦就吸引到其他嘅物种呢嚟到呢个生境去取代佢哋嘅。咁所以其实个情况呢，都係讲緊一啲生物喺成个演体嘅过程当中，佢嚟到呢个空间，如果佢生存得好嘅话呢，佢系可以取代咗固有嘅生物嘅。從而就導致到啦，呢個生境入面呢，佢哋嘅物種嘅多元化啦，就會越嚟越增加增加。講個物種嘅多元化達至最高峰呢，呢、這個就係頂級嘅群落啦。咁今次成個故事啦，我哋點樣理解呢？喺山泥傾瀉嘅初期或者頭兩年啦，草本植物嘅物種數目呢，係較木本植物嘅物種數目呢，係為之多嘅。喺山泥傾瀉之前，草本植物係十款，木本植物係十五款。但係山泥傾瀉之後咧，草本植物就有十七款，木本植物就得翻兩款嘅啫。而隨住時間推演啦，我哋就發現啦，木本植物嘅物種數量咧就慢慢增加翻，而當中咧草本植物嘅數量咧係下降咗。當然草本植物嘅物種數目下降咗，但係都仍然係高過咧木本植物嘅。但系木本植物嘅物种数目增加咧，呢个系不争嘅事实嚟嘅。咁讲完啦，呢个植物组合嘅变化之后咧，我哋又嚟解释啦。一开始啦，我哋就用翻唔同植物佢哋嘅营养需要咧，做翻一个理解啦。咁啊，因为草本植物嘅营养需求咧，就较木本植物嘅物种咧较为低，因为啦大棵细棵嘅问题啦。越系大棵嘅木本植物，当然佢需要多一啲嘅养分，先能够支撑到佢嘅成长啦，系咪？但系作为小草一棵嘅草本植物，其实佢需要养分唔太多。而记住，我哋要答题目啊嘛，我哋系要利用翻土壤嘅氮含量作为一个理解嘅。所以我哋就要睇下啦，喺山泥倾泻嘅两年之后，原来啦土壤嘅氮含量系好少嘅。所以我哋会发现啦，喺呢个情景底下咧，系会对于草本植物嘅成长系较为有利嘅。而對於木本植物嘅成長係較為冇利嘅，木本植物嘅數量亦都真係慢慢增加翻。雖然佢唔似喺呢幅圖入面佢變成一個最主要嘅優勢嘅物種，但係佢嘅數量係真係增加過噶嘛，係咪？咁原因又何在呢？就係、是、啦，有啲一二三四，咁啊因為啦，當初有啲植物喺呢個地方度生存緊啦，漸漸就會引嚟一啲動物啦。當呢啲生物死咗嘅時候啦，屍體啊就會被細菌去分解啦，就變成一啲。腐殖质啊，身体入面含有氮嘅化合物咧，就会被分解同埋释放翻出嚟，就形成翻一啲矿物质喺个泥土嗰处。最后屘我哋就会发现啦，随住时间过去，二三四，所以我哋到最后屘就会发现，随住土壤嘅氮含量增加咧，木本植物嘅数量亦都会随之而增加啦。好，又嚟到一点出发啦。今次嘅题目咧就由生态研习开始嘅，考嘅两样嘢啦，一系演替，二系氮含量啦。演替咧原生演替、次生演替嘅比较啦，大家一定要识得分翻啦。啊，边个有先锋嘅群落啊？边个系冇噶？边边一款嘅演替能够以短啲嘅时间去达到一个顶峰嘅群落啊？跟住啦就去到氮含量啦，自不然考嘅就系氮循环啦。有咩办法可以令到我哋土壤入面嘅氮含量增加咧？就系、是、一个 return 嘅过程。情啦嘛，系咪？咁所以啦，过往淡循环都有唔少题目噶啦，都要睇翻啦。然后我哋结合咗演替啦，同埋淡循环呢两个概念啦，我哋就有动态平衡，再达至顶级嘅群落啦。咁记紧翻啦，动态平衡咧，就系讲紧成个故事啊，就系、是、除咗生物之间有互动咧，原来生物同非生物嘅要素都有互动嘅。啊，当啲生物死咗啦，咁样原来咧就会导致到嗰个生境嘅，例如个土壤啦，就会。肥沃咗啦，多咗养分啦，咁其实咧亦都会回归返呢。咁跟住啦就去到顶级群落啦，就要比较下咩叫物种嘅风度啦，同埋唔同物种嘅相对风度啦。例如啦，今次嘅题目就问我哋草本啦，同埋木本植物嘅数量变化啦。Go one night question seven is about ecosystem. The table it shows the changes in the soil nitrogen content and the number of species of the herbs and the woody plants before and after a landslide on a hillside. So in this table, you can see before landslide, two years after, twenty years after the landslide. Then you can compare the data in the table. Soil nitrogen content firstly decreases and then increases again. And then for the herbs, increases and then decreases. And for the woody plant, decreases and then increases. You have a very brief idea of the table. 
And for part A, what type of ecological succession occur on the hillside after landslide? Explain your answer. This question is checking us the concept that we need to distinguish primary succession from the secondary succession. So you can refer to the definition. Secondary succession takes place in the area where the organism were once present but is now barren. You can see from the table before landslide, there were herbs and woody plants already. Therefore, there are pre existing soil and pre existing plants. So this case is secondary succession. For part B1, explain the change in the soil content shown in the table. In this question, I would like to talk about the scaffolding. In this question, there are two parts. First part, we need to state the change in the soil nitrogen content, and then we need to explain the change in the soil nitrogen content based on the information and the nitrogen cycle and the ecological interaction. Therefore, we need to mention the biotic factors and the abiotic factors. So let's take a look at the soil nitrogen content. So nitrogen content drops from 6 mg per gram to 1 mg per gram in the first 2 years after landslide and then increase to 3 mg per gram 20 years later. Soil nitrogen content decreases and finally we can find that the soil nitrogen content increases with time. So what is the reason behind that? First of all, we need to talk about the topsoil or the absorption of the minerals. After the landslide, the original vegetation or the topsoil was removed, so the soil nitrogen content decreases. And after landslide, two years later, you can see that there are lots of herbs. Due to the rapid growth of the herbs, they absorb the nitrogen from the soil rapidly. So the soil nitrogen content also drops. And then we find that the soil nitrogen content increases with time. So what is the reason behind that? And then you need to recall the concepts from the nitrogen cycle and also the decomposition of the dead body. Some plant species have the symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria in their root nodules which enrich the soil nitrogen content by fixing the atmospheric nitrogen. And time went by, the dead mass of the new vegetation was decomposed by the soil bacteria, hence releasing the nitrogen compound back into the soil. So the soil nitrogen content increases with the time. And one thing I would like to remind you is that you can check the MC and the long question for the succession questions. And then for part B2, with reference to the change in the soil nitrogen content, explain the change in the plant composition after the landslide in terms of the number of species of herbs and the woody plants. So in this question, you need to recall the dynamic interaction in the process of the ecological succession. In this question, you need to state the change in the plant composition after landslide and then explain the change in the plant composition after landslide based on the information and the plant growth and the ecological interaction. Therefore, you also need to talk about the biotech factor and the abiotech factors. First of all, let's take a look at the change in the plant composition after landslide. So you can see for the number of plant species for the herbs increases and then decreases. And for the woody plants, decreases a lot and then increases. Before we go in depth into the question, I would like to recall the concept again. In the process of the ecological succession, organisms modify their environment in ways that allow other species to come in and replace them. It means that if the organism, they can come into that habitat and this habitat is favorable to them, so they can grow, reproduce rapidly and then replace the pre-existing species. And the process repeats and species diversity progressively increases as more and more species appear in the community. And the species diversity reaches a maximum when a climax community is rich. So let's go back to the change in the plant's composition. In the early stage or two years after landslide, there were many more herbs species than the woody plants species. And finally, we can find that subsequently, the number of woody plants increases. Surely, we can see that even the woody plants, the number of plant species increases. So the number is still lower than that of the herbs. However, we cannot deny that the number of plant species of the woody plant increases. They really increase, right? What is the reason behind that? You can think about the nutrient requirements of different plants, herbs and the trees. Since the nutrient requirements of the herbs are lower than those of the woody plant species, you need to recall the changes in the soil nitrogen content. Two years after the landslide, the soil nitrogen content it drops a lot. And for this low nitrogen content favor the growth of the herbs rather than the woody plants. In other words, the low soil nitrogen content 
does not favor the growth of the woody plants. However, how can you explain that the number of plant species of the woody plant increases 20 years after the landslide? This moment, we can think about the environmental changes in the area. Finally, we know that there are more and more woody plants than before because the soil it can support the growth of the trees which grow over the shrub or the herbs and then finally they may become the dominant species what is the reason for the woody plants the number of plant species increase a lot so you need to recall the idea that for the organisms including plants and animals they may die and the dead decaying plants and animal as well as the animal waste they will be decomposed and form the humus which further enrich the soil and then the soil nitrogen content increases and then the number of the woody plant species increases as the soil nitrogen content continue to increase you can see the dynamic interaction in the process of the ecological succession for the organism surely they interact with each other and the organism they can also interact with the environment so let's talk about the curriculum mapping this question is starts from the ecological study and there are two concepts we are checking one is succession and the other is the nitrogen content for the succession surely you need to compare the primary and the secondary succession they are pioneer community or we need a shorter time or a longer time Time to reach the climax community and for the nitrogen content surely we check the concept of the nitrogen cycle how can we increase the soil nitrogen content for example nitrification lightning and the nitrogen fixation by the nitrogen fixing bacteria you can check the questions about the nitrogen cycle before to get the idea well and then we combine the succession and then the nitrogen cycle we have the concept of dynamic equilibrium that means the interaction between the biotic factors and the abiotic factors interaction between the biotic factors and the abiotic factors to make a stable community with a high species diversity or species richness it is the climax community just like in this case we can compare uh, the species richness or the number of plant species of the herbs and the woody plants